Hey everyone! Imagine I ask you to take an element on the page, like this greeting element, and ask you to compute a SHA digest. Maybe you want to confirm that this element is different somehow inside, compare how it was. So how would you do that? Well, we can select the element and then invoke the jQuery HTML method to get its HTML text. This yields a string, we can invoke trim to remove leading and trailing white space, but how do we compute a SHA? Well, I already looked up Mozilla DevDocs and I found that all modern browsers support crypto module where you have a digest method that computes 256 SHA and they even give you an example and they even, instead of giving the buffer, they'll give you actual hacks. Okay, so let's take this function and we'll paste it in our script. And the easiest thing is to then invoke digest message with the current subject. So this is a string and it will get passed to the callback and it's asynchronous and so then automatically waits for the return promise to resolve. And let's say it should be a string. Okay, let's see if it runs. I'm going to open Cypress. I'm going to click on end-to-end -end testing, Electron, and I'm going to click on the name of the spec. And here it is. So we found the greeting element, invoked HTML, invoked trim, and then we got a SHA-256 hacks string. All right. How about making it slightly better to use, which we can do by adding a child command because we want to automate getting HTML trimming calling digest message. Cypress commands add, let's call it SHA, and we need an element and we get a jQuery object and now we can say call HTML method just like we've done before and then we'll call trim so that gives us a string and now we can return a promise just message with that HTML and one trick is to create a log message in a command log right here and all we want to do probably do the name of a command now instead of these three commands we can call sha so you can see the name of a command that ran and if you want you can open console click on a command and you can see the result yielded and now the second part we get this sha and we can change something inside the element so right now we're checking this whole big element we can take the target for example get the target and we can invoke text and pass new values so right now it's hello world and we can say everybody okay and once we change it to hello everybody we can grab the sha again and now it should be different so we can say should not equal to the sha computed before before we changed the text inside. So let's see if it runs. Perfect. So this is how you could get a shy digest of an element's HTML and confirm that it does change if you change something inside.